I'm Nicole Chang Faskell, JD MBA, class of 1995. As president of the GSB Alumni Association in Beijing, it is my honor to share with you some of the stories from the many faces of the GSB in China. Please join me as they share with us their learnings from Silicon Valley and Stanford and how coupled with their passion, they are here to shape the future of China and beyond. I'm Victor Ku. I graduated from Stanford GSB in 1994, and I'm currently the founder and CEO of Youku Tudo Inc. Youku in Chinese means what's best and what's cool. Uh, the idea is when you're looking at videos, uh, basically there's very time consuming, it's very attention grabbing, and so you want to have a platform that actually can help you find the best and the coolest videos. We become a platform where people can actualize their dreams, whether they're good at singing or whether they're good at directing or whether they have a special talent. I'm Annabelle Long, GSP 2005. Before going to U.S., I worked in China for a state-owned TV network. Right now, I'm representing the biggest media group in Europe, uh, doing venture investments, backing entrepreneurs, and running the operation here. My name is Dong Lu. I'm a year 2004 uh, GSP grad and I'm um, the founder and CEO of uh, Lamu. Lamu is a lingerie brand um, that try to combine the fashion side of lingerie uh, and the function um, together, uh, which is uh, good to look at as a lingerie, and also when you wear it, it makes you look more beautiful and sexy. Sexy is not a, um, just a, a physical level, um, it's, it's also spiritual. My name is Wei Shu. Um, I'm from class 07 to 09 GSB. My company is Sable.im. It's a mobile application. We enable the users to use their real-time photo stream to share their lifestyle. We choose photo as the most important media for people's communication because photo is first very simple. Our product is looking at the global market, but it started from China. So 75% of the users are from China, 25% from global market. My name is Ou Chen. I went to Stanford in year 2007, graduated in year 2009. Later, I started my own company in Jumei.com, one of the largest e-commerce companies for cosmetics and skincare in China. We are not a company which sells cosmetics and skincare products. We are a company to help the Chinese ladies to become more confident, become more beautiful, to gain more power. My name is Ling. Uh, I'm Stanford GSB 2010, currently working for the strategy department of Baidu. Baidu is the largest search engine company in China. Uh, it has over 80% of the market share. Over 400 million people uh, are using it every day. Um, so that, is, that in, in its own sense, it controls what people can see and what cannot. Um, in a country where there's still censorship, uh, Baidu is like the, the gateway to the whole online world. Hi, this is Alan at Alan Du. I have graduated from Stanford for almost 11 years. And luckily, I'm working in one of the better company uh, in China these days. Zenzhen is basically the largest uh, real, real name social network in, in, in China. And it has about like 200 million registered users. That's basically almost 20% of the whole population in China. And it has monthly active users about 50 million. I'm Chris Reynolds, GSB 2004. I'm Craig Yi, I'm GSB class of 2003. We're the founders and general partners of China Fine Art Management. The institutions in China aren't fully formed. They're, they're not static. They're, they're also going through change. And that means that individuals can affect the direction of development of those institutions in a way that they wouldn't be able to in, in uh, more established economies, more established systems. I'm Anna Fang. Um, I graduated the GSB in 2010. Last year, I joined um, Gen Fund um, as the general manager. Things that are disruptive um, in the technology space and the education space are particularly interesting for me. At Gen Fund, you know, I'm the general manager and I'm 30 years old and I don't think I would have this opportunity in America to be, um, you know, running a, a leading angel fund. My name is Gabriel Lee and uh, I graduated from the Stanford GSB in 1995 and have been in uh, venture capital and private equity investing in China for the last uh, 15 years. China 
has traditionally been a state plan economy. So all of the different sectors were set up in a way that is very different from how a capitalistic economy has been set up. So the business models in China are just emerging in comparison to what's happening in the U.S. Rule of law is not terribly strong in China. I don't think it's controversial to say that. So as a result, very naturally, you have all of you have a, a generation of people who are it's basically chasing after material material gains. It's like the Wild West over here. And so, you have to adapt what has been successful in the U.S. to China, with the knowledge of what's happening here and what are the regulatory issues that are different here. China, as you probably know,、uh, is still kind of in the developing stage. Uh, the communication in old days among like, ordinary people was not that efficient. Traditional media in China、uh, is relatively restricted,、mm -hmm. and、uh, really, internet is、um, really the direct channel where the average、um, Chinese internet citizen, which is now already over 500 million people, can get access to information and entertainment around the world. This is a place that I can relive my dream. To be、uh, not only a designer and creating my brand, but also create something that's revolutionary, that's changing the retail, the apparel, fashion retail industry in China. The Chinese young entrepreneurs just simply doing better. I'm Miao Cao. This is my hometown, and I'm class '98. I see myself as an agent of change in the senior executive business in China. We're in a very dynamic market, and change is the constant theme here. Youku is an agent of change because,、uh, being the leader of internet television, we're really on the forefront、uh, of the convergence of mobile, PC, as well as the television screen in terms of delivery of video. What we're doing、uh, in the rapidly changing environment of China is, in some ways, changing、um, the lives of the Chinese people. And internet being really a window to the world is helping change how the average Chinese think, and work, and play. It basically helps people in China to connect in a better way to each other. I think for now we change the whole industry. Before we start this,、um, most people they buy cosmetics and skincare in offline shops because they don't trust online sources, online channels. We are the first one who get lots of trust from customers, and for now, we are not just one in the whole sector. We came in firstly in China to have a really open, like relaxed policy, so that it's first time in China's you know laundry history, I think, that a laundry can be returned. We're thinking, why? Why not? If you like it, return. We give you something you like. I think for now we have more than ten ten million customers, so we change lives of ten million customers. China is the center for dynamism in the world, and so for a hundred a hundred years, it's been China learning from the rest of the world. Well, who doesn't believe that over the next hundred years, it isn't going to be the rest of the world learning a little bit or learning something from China? It's no longer just a copycat. They found, especially in digital and the media, especially mobile space, many of the cutting-edge technologies and also more importantly, monetization business models are coming from China. In the past, developing countries learn a lot from developed countries in terms of product models and business models. But we are starting to see is that because of a much more fluid environment within developing countries. Uh, the product models that we can create here, as well as the business models, are also lessons where developed countries can learn from too. My name is Eugene Lee. I was class of 1994 at the GSB. I actually work with a Stanford classmate. It's his family's business, and we also work with several other Stanford colleagues. Our company would not exist if it weren't for Stanford. It's Stanford is. The mother of our company. It's hard to avoid GS people on the ground. They are either very successful, energetic entrepreneurs, or they're investors. Naturally, you are in the community if you want to be in the trend. So I think it's the, really the people. Actually, I get to know via GSB networks and also the classmates actually who are really now funding multi-billion-dollar businesses give me a lot of inspirations and open the door for me to really start my investments or my job in general here. 
I spent my two years in Stanford to look for my co-founders. Stanford played a huge role in, in my company. It's a fundamental motivation uh, for me to actually uh, dare to do something like this. And yeah, I started this company at the age of uh, 36. Uh, I wasn't young. Well, when I was at Stanford, certainly uh, being around a lot of entrepreneurs once brings the idea of wanting to start a company. My first Andrew University is a GSD alumni, my classmate. You know, I just felt, you know, I'd, I have no fear, you know, because I've seen so many classmates of mine. They've done so many amazing things in different countries, different areas. So why can't I? I think what Stanford does incredibly well is it teaches you how to find out what is meaningful to you in a way that's different than, say, just the monetary reward or the social status and position. What is truly important to you inside? And then how to take what is important to you and actually turn it into a career, a life path for you. And where that life path is not like some touchy-feely thing or some new age religious thing or spiritual thing, but it really is your career. It's how you're spending your time making a way in life and in society and actually creating value for society. Hello, I'm Shu Hua. Right now I'm living and working in Beijing. And most of the time, also, I go to the outside of China, go to Europe and the US. I think it's innovation is very important for the human being. So Stanford is one of icons in the world for the innovation. In China, sometimes we believe to live is to suffer. It's some Buddhist reaction. So if you enjoy, it's almost a sin because you're not supposed to. You're supposed to really endure great hardship in order to achieve great uh, greatness and grandness. Stanford has a more human approach. If you ever want to be a great individual, you better stay closer to the great people. Uh, if you ever want to make great contributions, to make great things happen, you better stay in a great place. And that's what Stanford can offer to you. Then I went to Stanford um, because of the culture the focus on their on people's true value and the atmosphere in the heart of Silicon Valley. As someone working in real estate, I know the importance of finding the right location. Stanford Business School offers a very close-knit culture in a beautiful campus setting in the context of a thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem. I was uh, just a computer engineering graduate, uh, fresh. At that time, my knowledge is not enough for me to become a great CEO to manage a billion dollar size company. That's the reason why I decided to go to Stanford for my B school. I chose to go to Stanford because, um, a lot because of the whole idea of change. And um, for me, you know, at the end of the day, I want to make an impact on the world. And, um, and I, want to, I want to leave something behind. The thing that I learned at Stanford is that you know, failure is accepted. Um, in China, actually, uh, there's a lot of stigma sometimes with failure. A lot of people don't like to go ahead and admit failure. And actually, that's a very important lesson because sometimes people don't want to take the risks. And if you don't take risks, you may never fail, but you may never achieve anything or change anything. A lot of other schools uh, really have a very much uh, individualistic approach to uh, learning and, and uh, competition and so forth. I think Stanford has created a cooperative environment that is very different uh, from a cultural perspective from, from other business schools. Change lives, change, change organizations, change the world. My name is Amy Gu, and then I'm a GSB class of 2009. Right now I'm GM of Evernote China. If you want to change the world, you have to you know, start from change you know, um, the lives, uh, which pretty much means you know, change from yourself first. My name is Hurst Lin. I am uh, the general partner here uh, in DCM China. And in the past six years, uh, I, I have been uh, making investments here. Uh, so changing the world is not about changing big way or small way. It's really just changing uh, the, 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 the environment around you that you can actually do make a difference and turn it into something uh, that you think is better. Uh, for the future and, and I think that that's really what life is all about. Uh, without that, I don't know, you come, you go and, uh, and I think everyone needs to, to have a, a, a philosophy and I think that that's a philosophy that I hold and I think that's a pretty good philosophy to go by. This Stanford model uh, actually 
makes me feel relieved because changing the world doesn't mean you have to be president of a, of a big country, but you can do small things little by little and, and change the world around you. You can start changing yourself um, and, ch and making things easier and better for the people around you. If you really think about the training, the education, and the people around you during the time you're at Stanford, um, really goes back to being an agent of change, being in a changing environment, being able to adapt to it, and being able to excel in it. When you want to change the world, the first thing is to find your inner strength, to change your own life, change your attitude, your way to communicate with the world. Then we can do that. Change lives, inspire people, let people working for you happy, know what they're doing. Then you have this strong organization, then you can go wherever you want to go. When we're changed, and we're, our thoughts, our behavior changed, our products and our services changed, and we're creating a better product and actually different, more fun, and bold products and services. And actually that influence now, you know, we have, we changed in a way, and more than one million people in China. Coming out, maybe in some naive way, discussing the issues beyond typical life, but changing the world is indeed why we're here today. It's our mission to bring change to, to this whole world and to bring the positive impact to, to the world. To me, that really means contributing to society um, and being, being um, an active person in shaping the world. We do not aspire to change the world, but in our little world here in China, we have made, um, we have invested in these companies which have made changes to the consumer behavior uh, of consumers in China. What it really means is make a difference, make an impact. I thank Stanford for giving me the courage to dream and to pursue my dreams um, and to give me both the hard and soft skills um, to do that. So I got my co-founders from Stanford, I got my knowledge from Stanford, and Stanford really helped us to build this company to a big one, just in two years. Without the life in Stanford, I maybe I would never even started this company. I think the greatest thing Stanford did for me is indeed it opened my mind. It provided me the freedom of thinking. I thank Stanford uh, for all the experience uh, that has exposed me to, as well as the people uh, that I've met through the experience. Um, that's something I carry with me uh, since I graduated, uh, all through my career and my life. I want to thank Stanford for, you know, bringing so many brilliant people, so many brilliant, honest, unique people into my life. Since Stanford, I feel I'm more capable of uh, doing new things, learning new things, um, and then um, accepting new challenges, and then um, adapting to the new changes. Um, that is something I think I, I will never learn um, in other places. I got a lifelong business partner out of, uh, out of, out of two years that I spent at Stanford. Uh, who knows, when you go to Stanford, who you're going to meet and, and how that's going to change the direction of your life. I think I'm, um, I'm wiser, uh, braver, uh, and more curious thanks to Stanford. Thank you, Stanford, uh, for giving me uh, a great opportunity, uh, giving me the most wonderful two years uh, in my lifetime. And number two, uh, thank you for making me, to, give, to offer me the chance to meet up so many great people and a number of them are one of the best friends I, I have right now. And Stanford gave you a sort of in, in environment to manage all different parts of your life. Friendship, uh, relationship, work, and dream, and passion, and help you to shape yourself from all these chaotic elements of your life. Their talents are diverse, their passions are broad ranging, but the one thing that is consistent is that they are all here to change lives, change organizations, and change the world. I'm a living example of a life that's changed by Stanford. What's important is the delicate balance of work-life and 
Stanford has a way to show you how to do it. Well, Stanford uh, make me more confident, more passionate, and more disruptive. But don't be boring. <laughs> Stanford changed me in terms of how I think about creativity and risk taking. For me, the Stanford Business School environment furthered my drive to create, to collaborate, and to try to make a difference in changing the world. We GSD Keith, we have a thought. And the company, the things we are doing, we also have a thought. And that is the way how we can go further than others.